Hello audience, I'm Mihar from Rare Labs, and today I will present you Rarema Protocol and its awesome product, cross-chain token agnostic payments. Uh, let's start with Rarema Protocol itself. It's a network of decentralized uh, validators and oracles that uh, act as a backbone for uh, various cross-chain protocols such as asset bridging, identity bridging, and so on. And the token agnostic uh, payments is our consumer product that allows uh, marketplaces to, for example, sell NFTs in a way that allows users to consolidate funds from multiple chains, multiple wallets, multiple tokens, and does it uh, in a way that um, allows to make this cross-chain action is just one click. Uh, let's start with a little demo. So here we have a little NFT marketplace. Uh, we are going to buy a, an NFT on the Binance Smart Chain's Chapel testnet, and we will pay for this NFT with uh, either from the Ethereum's uh, Girly testnet. Uh, let's connect our MetaMask. Uh, let's pay with the testnet of Ethereum. Now, our SDK is fetching uh, best exchange price from one of the liquidity providers. Uh, currently, we work with Uniswap, uh, PancakeSwap, and Trader Joe. Uh, here we have a wacky price conversion because it's a testnet, but let's proceed and buy this NFT. So uh, what happens now? Uh, we will submit a transaction uh, to that uh, does uh, uh, the conversion of the, on the source chain, uh, then makes a deposit on the Rarema bridge, and then uh, this transfer will be picked up by our network of oracles, and then uh, automatically will be sent to the destination chain uh, via our layer module. So uh, the user don't have to sign any transactions on the target chain. In this case, it's uh, the chapel chain. So let's hit confirm. Okay, so uh, on the transaction was processed, uh, let's First, look at the transaction on the search chain. Uh, so here we have the transaction on the girly chain, our source chain. And actually, it's uh, the only one transaction that uh, the user signs directly. And then let's check out the transaction on the destination chain that was submitted by our Relayer service. Uh, here it uh, withdraws of the Binance Smart Chain native currency from our bridge and uh, does the coin purchase. Here you can see uh, an NFT transfer to user's address. Uh, so, as you see, it only took the user a single MetaMask confirmation to perform a complex uh, cross-chain transaction. All thanks to Rarimos token agnostic payments technology.
So now that we see what is the product, let's uh, check out how to integrate it into your decentralized application. Uh, let me switch to the documentation portal. So uh, let's look at the diagram how the CCTP protocol helps us to move liquidity from the source chain to the destination chain. Uh, when a user submits uh, his tokens, we swap them to USDC on the source chain. We deposit the USDC on the bridge contact on the source chain and then using the CCTP protocol, instantly transfer it to the bridge on the destination chain. And there uh, we execute a bundle transaction that uh, does the exchange to the right token and performs uh, the final operation. It can be a purchase of an NFT or staking or anything, really, because uh, we allow to encode and bundle any transaction that will be executed on the destination chain. So it's uh, one of the features that makes it a single click solution for the user. So now let's talk about how to integrate the token agnostic payment solution into your marketplace or any other decentralized application. Uh, currently, we ship this solution in a form of a React component that you can just import and paste into your application. The design of the component looks like this, but it can be customized if needed. And for uh, more complex integrations, uh, we also provide a TypeScript SDK um, that allows you more control um, for the integration. Uh, you can You can whitelist tokens, you can whitelist uh, marketplaces for exchange, and so it's very flexible. Also, let's look at the transaction bundling because it's a powerful feature. Uh, so here we can see an example of transaction bundling. Uh, just to recap, uh, it allows us to encode and bundle any transaction that will be executed on the destination chain uh, by our bridge contracts. So uh, the user doesn't need to do, uh, doesn't need to submit any transaction on the destination chain, and that greatly simplifies uh, the user experience.